So now let's talk about enabling Client Hyper-V in Windows 8 so you can see it in action. Before you get started, there are some requirements that you need to make sure that you've met. Your desktop or laptop computer needs to have a 64-bit CPU. It must feature the Intel VT or AMD V virtualization technologies built into the CPU, and one of those needs to be enabled in the BIOS of your computer. Your computer also needs to have second level address translation or SLAT built into the CPU to use Client Hyper-V with Windows 8. You'll need to have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, but the more RAM that you have, the more virtual machines you'll be able to run. Finally, you'll need to purchase a license of the Windows operating system for every virtual machine that you're running Windows inside. Of course, if you run Linux or some other open source operating system, you don't have to worry about licensing those virtual machines. Now, once you're sure that you've met these requirements, you can enable Client Hyper-V in Windows 8. To enable Client Hyper-V in Windows 8, in the graphical environment, you'll go to the Control Panel, click on Programs, then click on Programs and Features. You'll click to turn Windows features on or off, click Hyper-V, click OK, and then Close. It's very quick and easy to install Client Hyper-V in Windows 8. Now, if you want to do it from the command line, you can use the command Enable Windows Optional Feature, Feature Name, Microsoft Hyper-V Dash All. Now let's go over to my Windows 8 laptop computer and I'll show you step by step how to enable Client Hyper-V. All right, here I am on a Windows 8 desktop computer. You can tell this is a totally stock default installation. And to use Client Hyper-V, I normally go down to the bottom left. I see the Start icon come up there. I right click on that and it brings up the option here to start control panel. I click on control panel and then I go into programs because that's where we're going to enable the client Hyper-V feature. I'll go up here to programs and features and then here's the option to turn Windows features on or off. I'll click on that and that brings up this new window and you see here the fourth option down is Hyper-V. So if we expand this out we can see this will install the Hyper-V management tools, Hyper-V module for Windows PowerShell, and most importantly, the Hyper-V platform. So this is the Type 1 uh, hypervisor that's going to be enabled here inside the Windows 8 operating system. Of course, these are the Hyper-V GUI management tools, and these are the Hyper-V Windows PowerShell command line management tools. So to install it all, I'll just check the checkbox up here next to Hyper-V. That will install everything we need. I'll click OK here. Of course, it'll take just a minute to install these features. And of course, we'll just need to reboot to finalize the installation. So I'll just click Restart now, and I'll be right back. After the successful reboot of our Windows 8 desktop and installation of the client Hyper-V features, if we go down here to the Start menu, and then scroll over to the right-hand side, look, we've got two new applications. We've got Hyper-V Manager, and the Hyper-V Virtual Machine Connection. So let's go ahead and open up Hyper-V Manager. And if you've used Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V, this should look very familiar. Even if you've used Windows 2008 Server, again, this should look very familiar. And that's because Client Hyper-V in Windows 8 uses Hyper-V Manager, and it works almost identically to Hyper-V in Windows Server 2012. So just to prove to you that it works here, we can go in and create a new virtual machine. I'm not going to go through all the configuration options. I'll just click Finish here. You can see how quickly we create a new virtual machine. Of course, it's running on WTG Demo. That's this local Windows 8. It's actually a laptop computer. So I'll just right-click on the new virtual machine here. I'll go ahead and start it up or power it on. Of course, so far we haven't put in an operating system installation DVD or connected an ISO image. So if we open up the console here, we're just going to get an error message that it can't find a boot device. But the point is that you can load operating systems in here. You can run virtual machines. You could run Windows Server 2012 inside Windows 8 on Client Hyper-V. You could move virtual machines from Windows Server 2012 down to Client Hyper-V, or you could take a Client Hyper-V virtual machine that you created here in Windows 8 and move it up to your Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V host. So it's that easy. This is Client Hyper-V running on a Windows 8 desktop. So with that, let's go back to our slides.